When the sun's like that, you stop. You know, that's one of the joys of travel. You don't have to just race to your destination. When it's like that, you stop. So we left Bintuk early this morning. Now we've traveled that distance. We've still got to travel right down to Bitterfontein, which is down over there, where we're going to meet a family that's probably had 350 years on the same piece of ground. It's a long time. Let's go. Human evolution. It kicked off for us when we were little more than scavengers. We lived off the land, learned to hunt and gather, all the while while trying our very best not to be eaten. As time ticked by, we moved up the food chain and got smart, or so we thought. Nowadays, well, we rely on others to produce our food and we do most of our hunting and gathering in supermarkets, unaware that our eating habits are having a massive impact not only on us, but on the environment as well. My name is Justin Bonello, and this is my journey to find out where the food I eat actually comes from. It's 10 minutes to midnight and we've just arrived on the farm Bessie's Fontaine and I'm being led to where we're going to be spending the next couple of days but I think I speak for everyone when I say we are dogleg tired and so happy to be here safe and sound and yet again we arrive somewhere in the dark Hello, can you tell Justin? Welcome to Canada. Thank you, sir. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you, sir. We'll have a look at the faces tomorrow morning. I think it's an appropriate time to be telling you why we're here. And it's to be off the grid. That's the real reason, and here we are off the grid. No cell phones, no telephones, no electricity. <laughs> you get the idea. So after spending 18 hours on the road yesterday, everyone, and I mean everyone, slept in until 9, 10 o'clock this morning. And now that we're awake, it's time to formally go and introduce ourselves to the poor family, to seven generations of wheat and sheep farming in this area. And you know, when I talk about being off the grid, I'm hoping what happens over the next couple of days is we show you the difference between a, a rural farming family and city slickers. And just so you can start thinking about it, a city dweller consumes three times as much natural resources as a rural person. Marjana McInnes, Justin. Eric. Yes. How is it, Eric? Now find yourself. Drovos. Yes. In process. In process? Yes. What's this, a little springbuck? That's springbuck, yes. A nice little the leg thigh. there. Yeah. Like you put it there? Yeah. In your finger. That's what, the, what you call it, surgeons do. In Vintuk now, I met a Fleischmann, an old butcher, a German butcher there. Huh? And what, you watch him work with a knife like this. I'm not as trained as the, as the older people. Um, you should watch them. Um, okay. When they take apart a, a, a leg like this. No. It's like watching an artist at work. <laughs> yeah. They're surgeons yeah, definitely. by experience. Good sir, Christian. Um, let me go get the rest of my guys up. Okay. Eric, lekker for you to yeah, ontmoet, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. If you need anything, you just call me. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. Come, girl. Look at you. The return of the city slickers. Yeah. Such a nice day, actually. I feel like doing nothing. 
good. Start stirring. <laughs> so many nets, sir, Christian. What's this? Start Butter. Stirring. Yeah, that's it. Hey, should I sit and make myself yeah, comfortable? Put it in your lap. In my lap. All you have to do is this. <laughs> yeah, I think, I, is it going to be dark when I leave? The good things takes time. So this is that just cream. cow cream. Yeah. So you, you wait for it to separate. Yeah. Yes. You skim off the cream off the top. Yeah. yeah. And I love the color, eh? I tell you what, people think it's difficult, and that's where we've had the wool pulled over your eyes, yeah. you know? It's difficult to bake a loaf of bread, to make your own butter, yeah. you know, to uh, even gut and kill your own animal. It's not difficult, but it's knowledge we're losing. If you know how, it's not difficult. <laughs> Am I going to be able to use my arms more? <laughs> I'm enjoying this. <laughs> <laughs> it's not you, you mean. <laughs> How often do you make butter? A lot. When they want to punish us, they let us it's turn the oven. Find, find the truth. I find the truth out now. And then it's like 50 turns, and then we always get into the bike because they always say they do, they do 50, but they never do. If you How are they going to learn? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. But you know what's interesting about, like, when it gets to food, in the old days, you learn from your mother, your mm. grandmother, and things. Nowadays, you don't learn from them anymore. And all of the ways of cooking and things, I'll just go... Phew. There are so many small things in food preparation that you need to know. Otherwise, it will be gone. Who's going to tell who if you don't learn? So now what do I do? Yeah, now you work it like more. Like this, just keep going like that. OK, I can see, then it comes out there. Is that where the buttermilk comes from? Yeah. Yes. I feel so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? Buttermilk, you know? Yes. You know, I'm like I'm supposed Quite to be obvious. a... obvious. <laughs> yes, it is, isn't it? Yeah. I'm supposed to be this foodie, you know? Yeah. Look at that. I mean, there's so much buttermilk there. That process that you did right now, you repeat that tomorrow morning. Good. Delicious. Mm. You, you take a slice of, of bread and butter, and um, apricot jam. Oh, that's good. Tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow morning. We have to start the bread. No. Okay. Yes. Yeah, we have to start that now. Um, that's <coughs> the potato bread. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if you call it potato yeast. Um, it's more you make a rising agent from the potatoes and sugar and salt. So it's fermenting then? Yeah, yes, it's yes. Just about a third of that dish water. Yeah. And you add a little flour to that. And now that it's have to cool down. We walk away. Yeah. Tomorrow you're going to make me work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a workout again. Moist. No wachons. Until tomorrow ochtend. Okay. Well, then I'd love to see the farm, Christian. Let's go to back. Yeah, we, we can walk. It's up there. Well, let's walk up there then. Where does your property run through to then? There. The, the, there's the, the fence there. Where the, okay. the blue rocks and it comes running down there along there and up to that little copy there and yeah. then it comes straight down here. The wind feels like it's going to oh. blow us off. Do you think your son will take over from you one day? Well, well there's a chance. If by that time, you can still survive as a farmer. As a farmer. Uh, on the other hand, I think you will always survive. It's a moy plek. A buy moy plek. It's beautiful. There's the sun going down. If you haven't figured it out, it's before sunrise and Christian and I are taking a, a drive around the farm. But the morning must first start with some coffee. Hey. Water, Christian. Good morning. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good, thanks. Like some coffee? Hmm? What would a morning be without coffee? Eh? Well, the first coffee in the morning is the lekkerste yeah. of the day. Yeah. How's our bread doing? Eh? Can your daughters make this bread? They probably will watch your DVD to know how to, <laughs> to make bread. And we see it in what, an hour or two? That will have to uh, 
ear and a ear and a half to the deer. Yeah, so they can rise up nicely first. Yeah. Okay, we'll go and look at the farm in the pretty light. <laughs> Beautiful morning, eh? Nice work. Hmm, this is quite fancy. Listen, Christian, you're like this. Huh? This is a land road, man. You should go down there. You know, I'm kind of keen. You go. tell me the shortcut. We'll go. <laughs> it's your mom and your dad are coming today? Yeah, tomorrow? they're coming today. Today. I think they will be here for lunch. Now, we're going to the farm that my um, grandmother inherited. Every daughter and every son brought their little portion of land. But she kept her then? Yeah, she kept hers. My granddad um, and them used to live there before they lived in the, on the farm where we live now. So were you born here? No. Some of my, my father's brothers and sisters were born here. Do you ever get sad looking at uh, these old houses, you know? Yeah, you see, I would have loved to maintain this in the state that it was when I was born. All it needs is one roof sheet off, then the water gets yeah. in the wall, and, and that's the beginning of the end. Often when I come to a place like this, I can still hear the family inside. You can imagine it. Your grandfather sitting here in the morning on his copy coffee and say, hey, watching the sun come up. Do you often come out here, uh, Christian, and like have a walk and hey, look at your lands? Your sheep you've got to watch all the time. They tell you what's wrong. Something's wrong, they'll tell you. But these guys are fine. It's quiet, man. It's peaceful. Imagine if you were alone and, and, and you would sit on that copy now. You won't hear anything except the sheep. Yeah. And you hear, would hear the, Odd the geese and that. If you drive on the national highway, you don't even know half these places exist. No, no. Which is part of the beauty about it as well, you yeah. know? That was the protection of the, of the lobster in this area. Because the roads were so bad, nobody wanted to come. Once they... Um, discovered that, oh, there's a new world here, then everybody came in. Once people get in, it's not the same anymore. On the other hand, uh, the most stable um, characteristic of mankind is change. Never leave that out of the consideration. If you're used to putting on a switch to have a light or to cook, it's not to say that, that when that gets taken away from you that you won't survive you'll quickly learn to, to light a fire. You've got to find something simple that works. Things that are difficult to understand and, 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 and not easy to work out normally doesn't work. It's the simple things that work. But on the other hand, life goes on and development goes on. That's it. <sighs> I feel so... Um... Honoured to be taken around Christian's farm. You know, there's a an old school wisdom to being on the land. You know, you need to be connected completely to to live here. And not by any stroke of the imagination is this an easy life. It's a hard life. You know, and if you're not in sync with all of this. You don't even make enough money to put your kids into school. But also, if you're not connected with this, guys like me that live in the city and have food on the table. I know our hour and a half is... It's about two hours long. Oh, they're beautiful, eh? Mm -hmm. Now all we're waiting for is the fire. Ready. <laughs> so, what time are your um, parents and things coming through today? Christian had gestern met hulle gepraat. Ek weet nie precies hoe laat hulle gaan kom. So, do we put it straight on the coals then? Yeah. All you have to do now is to close the door and wait about an hour. As you know, right? For yeah, the you might also do it straight away. <coughs> So the same as yesterday, we're going to smear the butter up the side like that to get the last bit of the buttermilk out. Yeah, guy is no there. That's beautiful. No, this is clear. Can we taste it? 
Yeah. And, and can I have the crust? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> See, you organised already. <laughs> Hello, Opa, I'm Kana McInnes, my name is Justin. Justin, <laughs> Three generations of poor family here right now. And they're all teaching me today. Smart look. Mm. When you talk about like farm bread and, and farm butter and, and things, it's all of that. What we eat nowadays is not this. Mm. Should eat this. This the wheat. is wheat. Yeah. Smell it. Okay. Dark and it's right. Yeah. And it's thumb blocked. 83. Is that right? Yeah. I can see this is going to be my job. <laughs> hey? yeah. For me, there's always bias snacks. And iemand has eat gewerkt. So is the art apple brood work. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Iemand has eat gewerkt. That, 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 that. Carry on like that for an hour and a half. <laughs> Are you joking with me? No, you're not. Probably not. And why does mine jump out and you must put it center in the hole? Okay. Need some. Why is only a spot? So we're gonna try and get the husk off. Yeah, you know, we get um, snap it till it and that gets loose. Okay. Then we're gonna spread it out and dry it. Dry it. Then you're gonna rub it, rub off the that the woolly stuff. Okay. And the wind blows that out. We get left with the clean grain. Yeah. Today's just taking me back in time to when you had time. Yeah, forgotten knowledge, stolen knowledge. Now we make soap. The scooter, Wally. Yes, sir. With our 14 pound fit. Out there, set us in a high stroll, smelt us it, make us the soap soda on. But we have to all be just lekker afkoel. Then we go on the one by the other, and then we begin to roer on the sea. Mag ik wel? Hoe lang moet jij om los om om hard te gaan? Nou, nou, vanavond kan je maar snijden. Ah, zo. Dat wil ik denk. Ja, zo. Ja, dat wil ik denk. Ik denk dat we moeten pas met ons tomorrow. Dat is ons klaar. Maar ik woon er hoeveel andere dingen jij kan van mij leren om te doen. Ah ja, maar dan moet dus bij je tijd zijn. Ja, dat is wat ik denk. Ik moet meer tijd vinden. Het is nog een beetje nat. Ah, moet dus bij je tijd zijn. It's been the nicest of days. You know, here I am with three generations of the Poole family, and all of them are teaching me different things. Over the generations of the family being here, they figured out the best way to do it. Omar teaching me how to make soap. Christian, about his love of the land, the way he grows everything organically. Or grandfather, teaching me how to get the husk off the wheat. Junita teaching me how to make bread using potatoes. I mean, it just, the mind boggles. No yeast, and everything's just hands on. I'd say labor intensive, but it actually just comes from a bygone era where you actually had time. And not having time has led us to lose that connection with food. At this rate, I am excited as to what tomorrow brings, you know? What next?
It's 6.30 in the morning and I'm here to pick up the whole pool family and take them down to the sea. After all the hospitality that I've been shown by Christian and his family, um, it makes sense that I actually cook for them now. So today I'm going to cook mussels. Okay, we ready when you are. Never did I think the, the dad would be the gate opener, you know, <laughs> junior, yes, but not the, hey? Are you sure, Christian? You're not telling me how to do drown, eh? No, um, on the, on, on, on the, on the, on the point, edge. but it's already covered with water, but if we go okay, quickly, go we can get a few. Might look like I'm pregnant, but this is why you come here. For the West Coast black mussel. It's like Christian on the club mussel so crane, eh? Yeah, you have to see that that right by him. Yep. Well, we wanted to steam open, really. And if you don't have um, fresh parsley, you can use dried parsley, and then a splash of white wine, and that's it. Just now when they're steamed open, some we just eat like that, and other ones we're gonna cook in butter with, uh, with black pepper and lemon juice, and some of that nice bread. And you just take fingers of bread and you dip in like that and you eat. Not so. I can't even believe you had not eaten it. The red half for me in four little feet. Can I be giving you a peep? Work. Probeer for me for you to give me. Will you not eat it? Yeah, I'll eat it. Delicious. South Africans have a special life. Mm. Eh? Morgen oom, zijn goed. Je lijkt goed vandaag. Hoe wordt die nagroes? Baie lekker, dankie. En het lijkt ons al een beetje ja, reen. Die reen is vanmorgen zijn naam. Ja. Morgen, Junior. Is dit te vroeg voor jou? Ja, nee. Ik denk dat die snap nog niet is. Ja, je hebt het. Hmm? The cream is right this morning. The next batch, yeah. no. <laughs> as long as I can milk the cows, you can start. But I'm trying to figure out how I keep a cow where I live now, you know? <laughs> you know what I've forgotten about? Huh? The soap. Uh, I brought it in last night. Can we look at it? I just want to see. But why are you picking it up? You must let the young men do the work, <laughs> eh? Look at that, eh? That's unbelievable, eh? That's hard. You just cut it. Like you this? would normally cut it. Or yeah. you just keep it whole and then you try and shower with it whole. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> you just stand in the shower and then you rub a no, little well. and then you... <laughs> no, no. I'm going to just teach my wife. <laughs> okay, Christian, jokes aside, we've got to hit the road. Hello, my friend. I would love to see you again. No, you will see me again. Why not, Pilot? It was lekker, eh? Pleasure having you around. Huh? You come, you'll come again? Yeah, I'll bring my surfboard. Yeah, bring your surfboard. Okay, now we must go. Yeah. Bye, thank you, eh? Good scenes. Bye. Bye bye. How do I sum up the last couple of days with the poor family on their farm, Bissesfontein, in the Northern Cape? 
being here. I've not only realized that I've made friends for life, but that there's all this old school knowledge that we're slowly losing, you know? And I think out of that old school knowledge, we're losing respect for the food that we eat. They know more about food and life than we city dwellers will ever know. And I'm coming back here to learn from Oma and Opa and Juanita because I want to be a keeper of that knowledge.